Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command MC 66 Day Challenge 2.0, and today is day one. Today we're going to dive into the Recruits applet, and it's the first applet that we're going to spend some time on today, one of the most important applets we know for growth, and we're going to go into the Recruits applet. We're going to show you the three tabs and then some things you'll want to talk and think about with your team when it comes to adding recruits into this applet. So we'll click on the recruits applet. When we do, you're gonna see we get three tabs here at the top. We're gonna to spend a lot of time talking about all of these tabs, but we've got recruit pipeline, recruit management, and then find recruits. We're gonna start off inside of recruit management and we're gonna talk about adding recruits into your recruit management list. So you can do that through direct import using the import option here, very similar to command in that you can import recruits and you can see that you have the ability to download the template and then upload your file. Inside of this template, you're gonna have three things that you want to consider. Those are recruit tags, recruit lead sources, and recruit brokerages. There is a pretty healthy list of all three of those already existing inside of Command MC. So if you click on the big blue add recruit button, this is how you would manually add a recruit inside of Command MC. So let's say you've got someone that just walked in off the street, they're looking to join your market center. This is typically how I see this utilized. You would go ahead and begin filling in their first and last name, phone number, email, their production status, you could choose to go ahead and add them to the pipeline. We're going to talk about the pipeline in a future video. But next up, you're going to want to decide what brokerage to assign them to, what lead source to assign them to, and what tags you might want to assign to them as well. So first off, with regards to brokerage, you can see that is a required field. That's where our little red asterisks indicates. If they are a brand new agent, then obviously they would be not affiliated with, affiliated with a brokerage. If they're a transfer or coming over from another brokerage, you want to do your best to select one of the brokerages that's already listed in the dropdown. And you can see there is a rather healthy list of brokerages that have been created most likely on your behalf. Now your list may look a little bit different. If for any reason you only have the brokerages that are here at the top, right, the most popular ones, and you've got a brokerage that is not listed and you want to add a new brokerage, you can do that simply by beginning to type that brokerage. So let's say it's XYZ Brokerage LLC. You can see when I type in that brokerage, it does not show up in my list. So I have the ability to click on add and that's now a new brokerage that is listed in my list. I would make sure that you talk with your leadership team in detail about this. Maybe even pick a point person that's gonna be the one responsible for adding any new brokerages. That way you don't have someone adding XYZ brokerage and then XYZ broker and then XYZ brokerage comma LLC. And all of a sudden you look up and you have three different ways to identify a brokerage in your market. Really important that you guys are all on the same page with your recruiting and leadership team and maybe have one point person that's responsible for creating new brokerages if required. Uh, same thing with lead source. So if we ch check the lead source drop down, you can see there are several lead sources that are already created. And then even further, you may have some created if you've done some drop-ins or some exports, imports, excuse me, imports in the past. Uh, but just the same way, so let's say I met someone at a, uh, a, maybe I do a lot of networking events through uh, running marathons, right? I'm a team leader that loves to run marathons and hey, that's, that's 26 miles of recruiting time, if you ask me. So I might have a lead source that just simply says marathon recruit, All right? That's somebody I recruited while I was running. I do that regularly enough such that I want to identify that as a lead source. That lead source is not currently in my command MC account. So I can click on add marathon recruit as a new lead source. Of course, I could always select any of the lead sources that currently exist. Finally, we've got tags. A couple of different places you can manage the tags. You can manage them from within the add new recruit modal that we're in right now. You can also manage the tags, unfortunately the tags only, inside of the Command MC settings menu. But if we go into tags, you can see there's already a healthy set of system tags. Those are all of these that are here in blue. 
But if you wanted to add a tag and it did not already exist, you do have the ability to create one on the fly, right? So let's say you do a, a, a citywide event on uh, market update, right? So it's a citywide market update. You do that once a quarter inside of your market. You invite recruits and a lot of times after the event, they express interest in joining your market center. So maybe you want to start tracking that. So you could say, hey, uh, this is somebody from the citywide market event. <clears throat> you could go in and create that custom tag. Now, again, you're going to want to talk to your team about the difference between lead source and tags. Um, you might have, right, uh, let's see, farm and ranch. You can see that that is a custom tag that has already been created inside of our test account. And I know that's a custom tag because it's yellow. Let's pretend it wasn't there and I wanted to create that tag. You can see I can just type that in. It's going to ask me what color do I want that to be. Let's make that green and then add the tag. And now I have a new custom tag that says farm and ranch. It is important though, obviously, that you double check this list because now in this test account, uh, if we typed in farm, you would see that we have farm and ranch with an ampersand, and now we have farm and ranch with the word and. That's two different ways to identify a recruit. So always want to be communicating with your team. Again, maybe have a point person. But the first thing that I would recommend you do before you import any recruits or add any recruits is do your best to create a system of brokerages, lead sources, and tags. So as a leadership team, you might consider coming through, clicking on this bro brokerage dropdown, viewing all the brokerages that already exist, and then start writing down ones that don't exist in your command MC such that you could then add them. And then do the same thing. Do we have a lead source that's really unique to our market or our team leader or OP or whoever the growth team is? Maybe we need to add some additional lead sources inside of here. Um, are all of these tags representative of the tags that we would use inside of our market center when growing it? If not, what would be some additional tags we might want to add? That's your first step, your day one. The build out of your recruit management brokerages, lead sources, and tags such that your entire leadership, entire growth team is all communicating and speaking the same language. Tomorrow we'll dive further into adding a single recruit using this modal that we just brought up and some nuance and things to think about when that comes around. As always guys, hope you're having a fantastic day and I look forward to talking to you again real soon.